Good morning. I know y'all be asking, like, how how she doing this? Like, how she getting through this? How she maneuvering through this thing? I asked God, I said, what's the worst thing that could happen to me? He's like, you could die. I said, oh, I done did that before. All right, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, so if I, I'm doing what you say, I'm going to live. He was like, definitely, most definitely. You know? And I'm like, all right. And the drive I had just to keep going wasn't the fact that whether my demise was knocking at my door or not or kind of like what what was that unknown it was the fact I was just like yo I already had a whole lot of shit happen to me that was already tragic and I'm like it's some more shit and I was like and all I did was I said I you know after um you know, going through a part of, of uh, you know, grief from a death, I was just like, I'm going to get my life back together. You know what I'm saying? And as I'm getting that shit in motion, other shit started happening. And I'm like, what in the world? Like, the man that shot, my man was my brother. He he locked up. And my, my boyfriend gone. So... I'm like, what is, what is this other bullshit and why, you know? And people would say different shit trying to tell me, like, hey, these motherfuckers coming by your crib, they checking your mail and all. I was like, word, you know? And she's like, when people would tell me stuff, they'll think I'm going to be scared, right? And they think I'm going to be like, oh, my God. What? I, I just, oh, I'm going to call the cops, you know? A couple people was like, yo, you need to call the police. I said, for what? This is my motherfucking house. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to see what the fuck going on first. This It's my crib. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm the total opposite of what regular motherfuckers just do. You know, after that, it was like, every time I seen somebody pull up, I came outside like, what's up? Like, what you out here for? What you want? You know? And... What fueled me, too, was I got my brother kids, so they here with me. And I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't did shit to nobody for somebody to be coming for my head. Not thinking that I really did, you know. Not thinking that, hey, people want the position that I'm about to get, right? Not thinking that, you know, all this shit I've been through, I won't pose to make it. You know, also not thinking of, like, yo... Hey, it's over, dude. I I don't I don't know what the fuck you know. As you we do shit, and it's like, how is that possible? And I'm running back on my timeline and shit. Like, who the fuck is the nigga? Who the fuck is who is it? You know. And no matter what, I couldn't just get like give up or lay down. You know what I mean? Cause you know, then God would be showing me shit. Like it don't even fucking matter. He'll just be like, hey, you going to finish this job because can't nobody else do it. And he was like, if they if they turn your lights out, I'm going to turn your lights on. And I'm like, all right, all right. And he, even when I wanted to just retreat and find, like, comfort somewhere, you know what I'm saying, just to have a little different peace of mind, so to speak, you know, God was still like, Man, all right, you had enough of that. Let's come on, let's move on. Let's let's finish the rest of this shit out. You know, time is, you know, relevant right now. And I was looking out I, I ain't say I was looking, but I was, you know, talking to him back like, Man, you don't you don't deal with time. He's like, But this is time sensitive. So no matter what, um, I asked for guidance. And no, I did not like go for the any spiritual literature, okay? And um, I needed just the quickest route to anything, you know? And then my mind was like, go back before religion. And I'm like, damn, it's for religion, for religion. And I was like, witches and shit. I mean, you know, they was like, oh, good witches.